Hi, you guys. Welcome back to the podcast. You are with your host, Amani Talks, for the One Thing About It podcast. Y'all, we got to get right into it. I don't got no time for introductions because we got to talk about this. How dare that single baby father try to tell our good sis, my cousin Kiki Palmer, what to do. First of all, let's get into it because there are so many things that we have to dissect here because really nothing was making sense to me. Nothing was making sense. How dare that clown get on Michelle Obama's internet and try to tell a black woman what and what she cannot wear? First of all, sir, let's get into it, okay? Because let's really talk about why he did it. Because after he did this, and let me tell y'all what I'm talking about, okay, if y'all not caught up. Kiki Palmer went to Usher's concert wearing something very cute. You know, it was like a long sleeve, turtleneck, long dress. It was sheer. Of course, she wore something under it, right? And then... Her baby father goes on to like retweet a picture and then tweet out that he basically disapproved of what she was wearing. Talking about you're a whole mom, but you're wearing this. Don't piss me off, baby father, because we don't fucking know you. We know Kiki, her music and her movies went triple platinum in every black household since 2000. How dare you get on the black woman's Internet and spew such ignorance and such. First of all, it's hateration. Didn't Mary J said no hateration, no holleration in this dancery and your black ass got on Beyonce's motherfucking internet and tried to tell our good sis Kiki what to wear. Meanwhile, where is the ring on Kiki's finger? Because I'm confused. I'm confused. There are only two people that walk this earth as a human that a woman should ever consider their opinion or position on what she got going on in her life. And those two people are her father and her husband, of which he is neither. He is neither. So how dare a single man try to tell a single woman what to do and what to wear? I just don't understand it. It's giving clownery. Don't do that. Do not do that. Do not motherfucking do that. Okay, so let's get into it. Let's get into why he did this, okay? Because once it hit the blogs, and of course all the men got something to say about it in the the shade room comments saying, oh, it's, it's crazy when the men of the household isn't allowed to, you know, have an opinion on how the woman is dressing. First of all, let's really get into it. Because he did not tweet out a public tweet about a public figure because he disapproved of what he was of what she was wearing. Because if it was really about what she was wearing, he would have had this conversation with her before she left the house. Or if they aren't together, I don't know what their situation is. I know they unfollowed each other um, either before she left the house or after she got back. And he could have had a private conversation with her and been like, yeah, I don't really like how you presented yourself today. And she could have chose to move however she needs to move for her relationship after the fact. But he did not do that. He did not choose to have a private conversation with the mother of his child about what he didn't like about what she was doing. No, he chose to on a public platform on black Twitter, chose to criticize her publicly. And why did he do that? He chose to publicly try to humiliate and shame her. His goal was not to correct her. It was to publicly humiliate and shame her. Because like I said, if correction was the goal, he would have corrected her before privately or after privately. No, he got on the internet where he knew millions of people were going to see this and decided to publicly humiliate and shame her because he thought, oh, if she's humiliated on like some kind of public scale, then maybe she won't do it again. He really thought that people were going to be on his side. He thought that we were going to side with him over Akilah in the B. He thought that we were going to take his side over from my head to my toes. It's so real then you know. Don't ever motherfucking try Kiki Palmer like that a day in your motherfucking life ever again. I can't believe he did it. He, the clown jumped out in that very moment, okay? When he went to Twitter, instead of going to Kiki privately, he automatically made himself out to be a clown. So like I said, he did not do it to correct her. All the men that were in the comments saying he can't correct the mother of his son, it was not about correction. It was about humiliation and shame. That's really what he wanted to do. That was his goal. Now, here's another point that I really wanted to make, okay? Because like I said before, let's revisit what I said. How dare a single man try to tell a single woman what to do? It's so funny how he chose... Okay, because he chose to not put a ring on Kiki Palmer's finger while they were dating for years before she had the baby while she was pregnant. After she had the baby, he had so many opportunities to um, propose to her and to marry her. And he did not. He chose not to take the traditional route of marrying her before he got her pregnant. But then he wants her to be traditional and follow his lead, play follow the fucking leader. And he wants to be leader of the household and try to tell her what to do. Meanwhile, he chose not to take the traditional route. 
So you don't want to be a traditional man, but you want her to be a traditional woman. Make it, make it make sense. Make it motherfucking make sense. The math ain't mathin'. The math is not motherfucking mathin', but I see this trend so often with so many men. They don't want to take on the responsibility of being the husband and being the provider and being in their kid's life, but they damn sure always want an input. They want to, they want to have something to say about what they got going on with, with the woman. They want him to, or they want her to listen to him, but they don't want the responsibility of actually being in the position to where she would listen to him. Like I said, y'all be wanting traditional women, but y'all don't want to be traditional men. How the fuck that work? Please explain it to me. Break it down like I'm a kindergartner. Because I need to understand how y'all don't want the responsibility of actually being the head of household, but you want the woman to treat you like a, the head of household. I don't understand it. I don't motherfucking understand it. Please explain it to me. Because I, it, it's a hard concept to grasp. I'm telling you, it is. And for all the men that are going to be in the comments asking stupid questions like, oh, you have to be married to be head of household? What the fuck you think? Yes. 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 If you are not married, do not try to tell nobody what to do. Kiki Palmer is a single woman and you were just her baby father. First of all, I don't even understand how he even thought it was going to be a good idea to even do that as if. As if we were even going to side with him. That man had to deactivate his Twitter because they were coming for him. They were coming for his life, okay? Calling him a clown. He thought, he thought, you thought that we were going to be on your side. I don't even understand how you thought that. This is what I don't understand, okay? I don't understand how men try to go after a baddie, quote unquote, try to date a baddie, and then be mad that while in the relationship, she continues to be a baddie. I don't get that. You chose her because she was a baddie, right? But now all of a sudden she's supposed to be invisible to other men around and you're mad at her because she's cute? You're mad at her because other men are trying to talk to her? It's your insecurity. So let me tell y'all why I feel like her baby father would be insecure. There's several reasons, okay? Off rip, off rip coming into this relationship, we did not know who he was. When she first popped out that this is her baby father, I had never seen him before. So automatically in the public eye, she has more notoriety and more power. She is more powerful than him in, in the public eye and people know her and like her more. We don't know who this nigga is. We never have. To this day, I don't know who he, who is he? Who, what school did he go to? Who is he? She doesn't even go here. We do not know him. So Kiki Palmer has literally been carrying this relationship in terms of the public eye, in terms of the money, in terms of her career. She has been carrying this Negro. She has been carrying him. How dare you bite the hand that motherfucking feeds you? How dare you bite the hand that feeds you? She has been carrying this relationship. I know she got more money than him. I know she does. That Usher concert that she went to, I am 100% sure that he did not pay for them motherfucking tickets. How you ain't pay for the tickets, but you got something to say about what she doing when she there? That don't make sense to me. That don't make sense to me. I'm pretty, he probably didn't even buy that dress. How you got something to say about the dress that she wear when you didn't buy it? Come on, come on, let's make it fucking make sense. I, it's not adding up to me. The ma it's not calculating. Let me get my calculator out. It's not calculating. If two plus two is four, right? And five plus five is 10. Okay. What I the fuck is this? So off rip, the money issue and the power issue is always going to be off with them. And this is why I always tell women never date down. Now, I'm not saying that he's down or he's less than her in terms of who he is as a person. But we know that for men, what they value for themselves, like what gets their self-esteem going is their um, their sense of power in the world, their money and their career. And so off the rip, he probably already had these insecurities from day one in their relationship, just knowing that she has more money than me she's more powerful in the public than I am she has more power and the, the power dynamic is off if what I'm saying is wrong about men having that sense of self when it comes to like their career and their money if I, if what I'm saying is wrong then why are men so insecure when their woman makes more money than them why if y'all sense of self isn't um, tied to y'all career and y'all money then why do y'all get insecure when the woman has more money than y'all why we see examples of this all the time. They try to put their partner down. They try to humble them because they know that she is too good for me. And that's what I say when I say don't date down. I always advise women to not date down in terms of just lifestyle. He is not going to provide Kiki Palmer with a better lifestyle than what she can provide herself with. If anything, this nigga is on the come up with Kiki Palmer, not the other way around. 
He's coming up off of her. He eating off of her. He is eating off of her, not the other way around. She don't need him. He need her. We wouldn't know who he is if it was not for Kiki motherfucking Palmer. So how dare, like I said, you get on a black woman's internet and try to shame our good sis. You look crazy as hell. Crazy as hell. But you know what I love though? You know what just gives this story a happy ending? I love when men do stuff like this, trying to publicly humiliate and shame women and they do this clownery. And what did Monique say? What she say when you do clownery? See, when you do clownery, the clown comes back to bite. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. Because like I said, black Twitter ate his ass up, had his ass for breakfast. He had to deactivate his motherfucking Twitter. See what happened? You thought you was doing something and you did do something. You made yourself look like an insecure ass. That's all you did. And you know what I love that she did? She did not go back and forth with him on Twitter. She did not. After the concert, after all this stuff came out, you know what she did? Posted a full body pic of that address. I know that's motherfucking right, Kiki, and she looked damn good doing it. We love a petty queen. We love it. People say two wrongs don't make a right. We're not trying to go right. We trying to prove a point. And she proved a point. Stay unbothered, queens, okay? Don't let these insecure males try to humble you, try to trip you up. Because a lot of times, and let me tell y'all too. Let me, let me, okay, so let me tell y'all, let me give y'all a hot take. Maybe an unpopular opinion that people are not going to really understand when I first say it, okay? Don't let these men get you pregnant because a lot of times they try to get you pregnant to lower you and to humble you and to stop your bag and to try to stop what you are doing. Because if he really valued you and he really wanted you, he would marry you, not just get you pregnant. I'm telling y'all, do not let these males get you pregnant. Because a lot of times they only do it to have constant access to you as a baby mother, to keep you around in their life without no real commitment, and they try to do it to, to stop your bag. A lot of men try to baby mama y'all just to stop y'all from doing what y'all was doing before. They saw that you were great, they trying to wiggle in, they either trying to get a piece of the pie or they trying to stop you from getting what you deserve out in life. I'm telling you, they try to stop your emotion and stop what you got going on in life. They try to slow you down by getting you pregnant. You can't slow Kiki Palmer down, baby. But you see what she doing, she's still on her shit. And what are you doing? Looking like a clown on the motherfucking internet. Looking like a clown. So I'm gonna end this episode with saying this. Males, keep your insecurities to yourselves. Don't date a baddie if you can't handle a baddie. And women, don't let these males get you down, okay? Date somebody that's secure in themselves, secure in their relationship, and is actually bringing something to the relationship. Don't let these leeches get, on, get attached to you and then eat off of you and ride your wave because we know how it turns out every single time. We see it happen with Kiki Palmer. We saw it happen with um, Mary J. Blige. We see it happen. We saw it happen with Wendy Williams. They will leech onto you to get whatever they can out of you, try to humble you, baby mama you, and have no intentions of trying to make you greater. Fact check these males. And that's all I got to say, y'all. Thank you for watching One Thing About It with your host, Amani Talks. I'll see y'all later. Bye.